<coughs> the body uses like just as simple as training. You can train those veins. You have to sit in cold and get warm again. Basically what you do is you go and sit in the sauna and you get in cold water. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very old thing. Very, very old thing. And basically, it comes down to that homeostasis again because if you go and have a look in Russia or in the northern part of Europe or in Canada, what are the people used to? They used to cold. Yeah? They have cold exposure every, almost every day a certain part of the world. Yeah? So they're really, really uh, strong and rugged there. They, they just have that ability. They just adapt it. Yeah? And what they see with those kinds of people, especially with uh, using the, the Wim Hof method, because it goes a bit further, they train the muscles in the veins. So basically what you do, if you get a hot shower, you get in a cold shower, the muscles are contracting, and at a certain point they're releasing again. So they keep that body useful. It will not be as warm as normal, but it will, no, uh, will, will be warm enough to be mobile, yeah, to use it. That's the way like rock climbers use it. If you, rock climbers are using those fingers and cold rocks at a certain point, they have a, a point where their fingers just, they cannot use them anymore. Yeah? And um, if they use them a lot and they, and, and they train a lot in the cold weather, they will have that ability to just, to basic, basically the, the body adapts to it. Yeah? So they can still climb and can still use those fingers. They will not be very, very warm, but they were warm enough to be mobile and usable. Now the thing is with uh, the Wim Hof method, he uses a few things. He uses focus, he uses breathing, and he uses cold water immersion. And all those things together, creating a whole system, and all the things that come out of it, it basically ties in with what we talked yesterday, with that whole um, panic approach. Because what's happening, if he, he uses those focus and the breathing techniques, he get like a kind of a adrenaline rush. And when adrenaline goes through the body, it releases all kinds of all, all kinds of things are happening in the body. Yeah. And when you do that regularly, like every day, there's a kind of a reaction of the body, adaptation to it. So people that use that the, the scientists saw that people that are using that method have less suffer of fever, have less uh, colds, have less uh, circulation problems, have less um, problems with all kinds of things because of the focus and the breathing technique. So basically what you do when you're jumping out of a plane, getting an adrenaline rush, and then the body adapts to it. The only difference is he does that with focus. So he has a very, very, very strong focus. Yeah. And the, stro the focus is so strong that he can do things differently than other people. Because if you go and sit in the water, basically what with everybody is happening is the veins contracting, so they're protecting the inner core, but the extremities, they will suffer because they get cold. And what he is doing, he's just focusing and by training, he can steer the warm to his hand. So if you ask him, warm up your hand, and you can measure it, yeah, with a thermometer. And then after two minutes focusing, you will see the head is that it's like two or three degrees warmer. Yeah. And that was uh, that is the thing where the, the scientists they not really sure about how that because they. They say it's not possible because you cannot steer your autonomic nervous system. But he showed us that we can. And the best thing is, he learned it to other people, and other people can do it as well. So he built up a whole system, and my whole point with it is, he's a really, really, really tough guy, just by training, by doing taking a half hour of the day and using those things, training those things, and being more resilient against all kinds of things. But it's not only with cold water, it's also what we talked about yesterday, it incorporates going up a, a mountain without um, um, having uh, 
how do you call that, the days that you have to wait before or you get, mm -hmm. otherwise you get mm -hmm. high sickness, yeah, altitude sickness. Yeah. He just runs up the mountain because of the breathing technique. So we over oxygenized his body, so it has more body in, of more and more uh, oxygen in the, in the bloodstream. That's basically what he's doing. So all the benefit that comes out of it are you getting more focused, having less suffering of all kinds of diseases that have to do deal with uh, like the, um, the circular yeah. system. Mm. Yeah. And you get more you get stronger, just the body gets stronger against cold. Yeah. Against temperature differences. So what's the glory's name? Wim Hof. Mm. Yeah. I just took it at Wim Hof method. He's another Dutchman. He's a crazy Dutchman. He's a crazy Dutchman. <laughs> he basically said, my teacher is nature. He learned the things by heart nature. Getting out there, sitting in the ice, and he had the adrenaline rush of it. And the first part, it was a circus guy, because he could do, do things, but now he's on a journey to show science that you can do things with focus that are actually impossible. And for my part of it, it you get more resilient. That's, I think, for you guys, the most important thing. And what we talked about yesterday, the focus is very, very yeah, useful for all kinds of things in daily life. <coughs> Any questions about that?